Hello everyone, it's Queen B Line back to you with another video. This video pertains to the update pertaining the entrepreneur Shantari Weems on the incident in which she touched her former husband James Weems, who is a former Marine and retired Baltimore City officer on multiple allegations that he was touching children at her daycare. Multiple outlets confirmed that she has pled guilty to assault and weapons charges and could face up to two years for these guilty pleas. As previously reported, Shantari Weems went to investigators about these allegations against her former husband, who is a former Marine and retired Baltimore City officer, on allegations that he was allegedly touching children that was in her care at Little Kids Castle Daycare, in which he occupied as the driver for the business for the past two years. Outlets have also confirmed that a grand jury has indicted James Weems on 21 charges related to abuse allegations from two of the three victims at the daycare that his wife once owned. In addition, investigators believe that there are more victims and have attempted to interview over 90 children who have attended the daycare facility. Now you will watch two brief news clips. The first clip is the original breaking news and the updated news of Sh Shantari Weems pleading guilty to two out of the four charges. And I will be back with more commentary. Police say there could be more victims and this remains an open investigation. Little Kids Castle Daycare in Owings Mills, where police say retired Baltimore City Police Officer James Weems Jr. abused at least three children. His wife, Shantari, owned the daycare and he worked here as a bus driver for at least two years. We learned of these allegations earlier this month and that's when our investigation was launched. According to court documents, Shantari Weems reported the abuse to police but kept getting calls from parents. That's when she confronted her husband shortly after the two checked into the upscale Mandarin Oriental Hotel in Washington, D.C. last Thursday. Police say Weems told them the argument got heated, her husband moved toward her, and she shot him. At this point, he remains in police custody, hospitalized in Washington, D.C., pending extradition. It's kind of hard to feel sorry for him. I mean, I, everyone knows she shouldn't have taken the law in her own hands, but you didn't have your life upended. Her whole entire business is gone. Her reputation is gone. Her marriage is gone. Those kids are hurt. She obviously cared about them. So who knows if it was one of us, what you'd be driven to. Shantari Weems still faces charges in D.C. related to the shooting. Police say she wrote in a notebook that she did not want to kill her husband, just hurt him, and get justice for the kids. Supporters are using the free Shantari hashtag online and packed the D.C. courtroom Monday where the initial hearing was postponed. She's made complaints to the proper authorities before. Her cries for help had went unanswered. Our government did not keep her or the children in the plea deal on two of the four charges she is facing, Shantari Weems, owner of Lil Kids Castle Daycare in Owings Mills, pleaded guilty to carrying a pistol without a license and aggravated assault. She was charged with shooting her husband James this past summer in a Washington hotel room in a confrontation over accusations that he molested children at that daycare center. James Weems, a former Baltimore County police officer, is now facing dozens of charges of sex abuse. While the judge may not understand why 
Mrs. Weems did what she did. I think everyone who has seen the report can understand why Mrs. Weems did what she did. James Weems is a former Marine and a retired Baltimore City officer. Shantari Weems is getting allegations from children that are in her care that her husband, who is a respected pillar within the community, is violating their trust and hurting them in the process. Shantari Weems is continuously making reports. The parents are coming to Shantari Weems on these allegations. What was Mrs. Weems supposed to do? So she takes it upon herself and she goes to Washington, D.C. And all hell breaks loose. At the end of the day, Shantari Weems' business is no longer existing. These children who were in Shantari Weems' care are forever scarred due to the alleged abuse brought on by a man who is deemed a pillar within the community. I need persons to understand how serious these allegations are and how it has a domino effect within the community, not only in the short term, but in the years and decades to come. I cannot begin to understand what these children must be going through and what Mrs. Weems is experiencing right now. I will leave in the comments and description below for organizations and hotlines as it pertains to abuse against children. Justice for the children who were impacted and free Shantari Weems. Please be safe out here and I will see you in the next video.